This is not turning on. It is completely no power. Dead as a dodo. It is as, it is as dead as my mother. Oh dear. Alright, fine. Let's get it apart. Completely no power. Let's get out the special gloves, shall we? Blue for a PlayStation. Been a while since I've worked on uh, the PS4 Pro. Actually, it hasn't been that long. Right. Anyway, let's uh, flip it back over. I can't wait for the uh, PS4, PS5 Slim to start rolling with the exact same faults that the original has, because they're using exactly the same hardware but just in a smaller form factor. You just know they're going to start fading like the other ones have. You guys could have told me I missed another to uh, talk to T8 bit. <sighs> what good are you guys watching if you don't tell me I've missed the screw? Huh? Today's video is sponsored by PCBWay. Whether you've got a simple project that requires a quick mod board or you want to launch your own products to the world, PCBWay can help. With fantastic pricing on multi layer PCBs, flex PCBs, 3D printing, and even laser cutting solutions, you're sure to get everything you need all in one place. Custom PCBs start from just $5 for a one to two layer board with a fast 24 hour build time and free shipping on orders over $30. PCBWay are also proud to announce their new aluminium PCBs, which start at just $120 per square meter. Check out what PCB we have to offer by clicking on the link in the video description or the top pin comment and get your project started today. Thanks again to PCB Way for sponsoring the video. Let's get back to the repair. So let me just have a look at what the power supply is saying in terms of uh, voltage, considering it's completely dead. There's 5 volt, there's ground, and we get 4.8 volts, so that is fine there is nothing wrong with the power supply or at least there's nothing wrong in terms of uh, standby voltages because <clears throat> well it's putting out 5 volts and that's all it needs so Chances are it's going to be this lovely CXD 90046GG because it's always the CXD 90046GG. Because safe bridges on the PlayStation suck. So the way that we can test it is to check for continuity mode on the back of the board. Right by where the secondary RAM is, and we can look for shorts. Huh. We have no shorts. It could still be the safe bridge. It doesn't always show up as bad. Uh, okay, we don't actually have any shorts on the safe bridge. It could still be the safe bridge. Let's just have a look. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the power button or the eject button. I can't remember. Uh, but I am going to have a look. Well, I'm going to plug the power supply into the um board yeah we've got nothing on the power button absolutely nothing on the power button at all that could very well be the safe bridge then yeah we've got absolutely nothing on the eject button as well by the look of it yeah stone dead so we've got now 3.3 .3 volt. That could be a couple of things. It could be something around here. 
this chip might look familiar. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. I'm sure that's the fuse there. Oh. We have a short. We have a short on the 3.3 .3 volt rail. Or at least I believe this is a 3.3 .3 volt rail. I'm not 100% sure on the um, on this uh, particular circuit what this output, but I'm pretty sure it's 3.3 .3 volt, and that's short on one side, dead short to ground. I'm going to go grab a donor board real quick. Where is it? NVB001. Okay. Right. Same circuit. And no short. Good. Okay. So we might have got to the bottom of it. So, yeah, there was a reason I checked this circuit, and that's because this is, as far as I'm aware, the 3.3 .3 volt rail. So, yeah. That's why I didn't just go straight for the safe bridge. You don't want to go straight for the safe bridge. It is a BGA chip and it is expensive. They ain't cheap. The CXD90046 are not cheap chips. I've got a feeling. Actually, you know what? No, let's not. Let's not just remove the chip. Let's, uh, let's inject a vault into it. Why not? Let's inject a vault into this and just see if anything gets warm. Let's inject a vault into this rail, shall we? 4.8 amps of current, and hello. Hi, everybody. Right. We need the macro lens. Oh, I love that magnetic macro lens. It's great. It's the chip. It is the chip which has failed. Just doing a little bit of post editing here, and the reason that I say it's definitely the chip that's failed is because if you look at the circuit on the thermal camera, we can see that we've got a large component to the right hand side of the probe. That's an inductor, and an inductor can't become short to ground because the inductor doesn't have a connection to ground. The only thing on that circuit which is getting warm, which has a connection to ground, is the chip itself, and that's going to be the very obvious failure point. You can also see a nice big spot in the middle of the chip, because the chip is getting excessively hot in that area, which means the chip is always going to be at fault. Well, not always, most of the time, but it's always going to be at fault. You get the drift. So, forget the donor board. Back into shot, and we test for continuity on this teensy winty little component. It's short because it's a fuse, it's meant to be short. If we test this one, we get 997.1 ohms. So the reason that's blown is because this part of the circuit is short. Well, this part and this part. But that's all short because that chip's gone. It's failed. So that's blown the fuse. So at least the fuse did its job. It's fairly similar to the... Well, it's pretty much exactly the same as the PS5. It's exactly the same circuit. Just in a slightly different configuration. Come on. So if we did just replace the fuse, it would have blown again within seconds. As soon as we applied power to it, it would have blown again. You've always got to find out why something has failed, why the fuse has failed. Don't just go changing fuses. That would be foolish. 
And there you go. No more short. And no short there as well. Cool. So that's ground, obviously. No short. And no short. Good. Damn it, I lost the fuse. You son of a... Alright, so I'll just solder this on and then I'll grab another donor board for another fuse. Surface tension pulled that in. We flow it, press down, and done. All right, so that's done. Try not to lose this fuse, shall we? Let's also try and keep it in focus while we're working so you guys can see. There we go. Little dab of flux. And surface tension did its job once again. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Right. Let's just test the uh, fuse again. Good. And no short on either side. And no short there as well. Good. Good stuff. Happy days. And we should. We should have a working PS4 Pro. Right. Moment of truth. Does she work? I'll say yes, she does work. Let's get it. Let's go. Yeah. Right, let's manually put it into safe mode. Press restart. I fucking love this customer. There's no FIFA on it. Good lad. That's why it was fixable. Because of no FIFA. I swear if I find FIFA on here now I'm going to smash the console up. No. That's it. Good lad. Good boy. Do a couple of tests on it. Come on. There we go. So, internet's working. Yep. Make sure it switches to 1080p. Yep. And back to 4K. Yep. Good. That's all working. Come on. Show me the game. Uh, a downloaded version of the same application has already been installed. Do you want to start using the disk version of it? If so, the download version will be deleted. No. No. No, we do not. All right, well, it's showing that the game is working anyway. It just knows that it's got that game on there. So, yeah. 
Cool. That's the only test game I've got, but it is reading the game anyway, so that will do. There we go. Is it going to play a move eight? Uh, nah. Do I want to connect to the internet to watch a movie? Hell no. Nah. Yep, it's working. Playing a DVD. Right, there we go. This console lives again. Um, common failure points on the PS5. First time I think I've seen it on the PS4. Actually, no, I think I might have seen it once before. Um, but, yeah, to be fair, I haven't worked on all that many PS4 Pros. Um, you know, relative to other consoles. They are fairly reliable a lot of the time. But usually it's a disk drive that fails on these. Or rather the disk drive circuit and the safe bridge. But yeah, good stuff. Happy days. If you're watching back as a video, don't forget to subscribe, turn on bell notifications, or I'll come and kick your cat. And I will do it. I ain't afraid to. Honest. That's my mum.